Hi, this is some um, interesting news for people uh, in the um, abrupt climate change community and something I've been talking about for quite a while. Um, I come across this um, new story released today from um, weather.com science life on the moon crashed Israeli cargo may live on um, basically the Israelis uh, sent a uh, spacecraft to the moon in April um, and they what they had on that was on this spacecraft was some life forms uh, basically tartar bear or uh, 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 water bears basically um, a microscopic animal uh, they were in um, they're called tardigrades um, they were in suspended animation they also sent archived human DNA and um, a digital archive and some DNA of uh, some other plants but I'll, I'll read the article here um, it'll probably come across uh, basically the saga began when an Israeli spacecraft called Bereshit crashed onto the moon in April the spacecraft carried human DNA, a digital archive, and dehydrated tardigrades, water bears. The water bears are frozen in time and deep suspended animation and cannot re reproduce on the moon. Scores of the most indestructible creatures on Earth have found a new home on the surface of the moon. Thanks to the crash of an Israeli spacecraft in April, thousands of the microscopic tardigrades, affectionately known as water bears, or moss piglets may now be residing in the deep state of ant suspended animation on the moon, Fizz.org reported. Water bears are unlike most species on Earth. They are extremophiles, which means that they can live in extremely hostile conditions and shut down their metabolism for long periods of time. So basically, radiation can't kill them. Being deeply frozen for 30 years can't kill them. Extreme heat doesn't seem to phase them much. They can even go decades without eating. Um, the saga began when the Israeli sp spacecraft crashed on the moon in April. Um, now here's the important part. The spacecraft carried a massive digital archive compiled by the Arch Mission Foundation, a nonprofit whose purpose is to create a backup of planet Earth. The archive holds some 30 million pages of information. It also carries the tardigrades along with human plant DNA encased in the DVD sized archive. Um, then they um, go on talking about um, we sent enough DNA to regenerate life on earth if necessary um, although it would require more advanced biotech than we have to do that at least our DNA can um, survive off site now but note that cells in DNA cannot survive or reproduce on the moon yet it could if retrieved they could be useful now I wonder why they did this Kind of curious. I wonder why. Um, so uh, I, I have been talking about for quite a while. Um, if you believe um, Guy McPherson that we are on the cusp of possible extinction, that maybe it might be a good idea to put an archive of um, DNA, human, animal, plant. Um, DNA, uh, also a digital archive of, you know, uh, thousands of years of man's history, just in case um, aliens come across it in the future to see, to understand who this planet Earth was that went extinct. And all, my suggestion was to put um, a radio beacon on it, a solar powered radio beacon, so that maybe. Um, von Neumann probes or other maybe alien archaeologists can come across it. Come across it. This was um, pure speculation on my part, you know. I, 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 but then I, the article they actually done it, you know. Of course, they kind of did it in a half-ass way. The spacecraft crashed on the planet or on the moon, and um, it, it wasn't. It, it was kind of a half-assed archive. I was thinking something, you know, bigger, kind of like um, Kubrick's Obelisk in 2001 um, with a radio beacon in it and um, even um, uh, s uh, biological samples um, that could be uh, regenerated by um, aliens in the future. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but they actually did it. Now, when I talked about it before, people thought it 
you know, well, that's pretty crazy. But they actually um, have done it. Now, I'll leave links to the article and to the website for the um, foundation that is behind this. Um, and you guys can check it out, you know, because um, uh, this is something that, that should be done, in my humble opinion.